How did Charles Martel impact the history of France? Uh, although a lot of armchair historians argue that the Battle of Tours wasn't a major impact, citing that Muslim works tend to barely mention it, um, Charles Martel actually shaped medieval France and fr medieval French history he, by defeating the Islamic invasion which helped to establish the foundations of the Carolingian d dynasty. Firstly, um, the defeat of the Islamic invasion of France ensured that it would remain part of Christendom. Second, he ensured that the Franks would become rulers of all of Gaul, and he became the founder of the Carolingian dynasty. Point one. Charles Martel's defeat of the Islamic invasion of France ensured that it would remain part of Christendom. Uh, the Merovingians uh, reigned from around 476 to 750. Uh, they, it became a bit of a divided kingdom, and they got, they, it kept dividing, and eventually someone would bring it back together, and then they would split again. Um, eventually, mayors of the palace essentially kept together the Merovingian kings, who, and the actual kings were known as the do-nothings. Uh, the mayor became the king in all but name. Eventually, uh, when moving to the Carolingian dynasty, eventually it changed over to the Carolingian dynasty after Charles Martel. Before the Battle of Tours, Charles Martel was mayor of the palace. Uh, he was, uh, his position went up, and so did his money. Uh, but instead of luxury, he and the money into influence. Uh, he donated land to the Catholic Church, but he had to almost immediately take it back when he realized that he would need the money to pay for uh, the an army to fight the Muslim invasion. The mu and he and to, to keep the army prepared too. At the Battle of Tor the Battle of Tours took place on October tenth. 732. During the battle, the Franks defeated the Islamic army, and the leader, Abdul Rahan, was killed. Um, this pre preserved Christianity, uh, controlling of the faith in Europe. Islam had been expanding rapidly in Europe, especially in the remains of the Roman Empire, but this stopped it. The divisions be began, uh, according to one of your orders, of R Rahim's army when he was fighting Odo of Aquitaine, an ally of our rebel, quote, that army went through all places like a desolating storm, unquote. Um, the Muslim army so devastated the rebels that Odo saw this and fled. Arabs um, pushed further north and split into many smaller armies for raiding, essentially. Islamic, and they became separate raiding parties. Um, uh, the Islamic cavalry was important at Bordeaux because it they had, had heavy armor, heavier armor, and more such things. Uh, but the raiding, raiding parties were armed, were aimed for Taurus now, uh, but on, uh, in October of 732, there was a battle, and Charles Martel found a good place f to fight for his own army, and essentially this won them the battle. It is, m there's more details on how, but I don't have time for that. Sorry. Um, second, he ensured that the Franks would be the rulers of all of Gaul. After Tours, he wanted uh, he wanted there to be one kingdom. Um, there, uh, there were also 
he also dealt with conflict and uh, fought against conquerors. And but the bulk of what he did was against the Muslim expansion. When Islamic forces returned to those returned those with doubts about Charles Martel, um, submitted and it went well. In 736, the Caliphate um, led massive led a massive naval invasion in an, in an attempt to get some of his unstolen property, uh, unstolen places, essentially back. Um, they took Arles in the same year Charles Martel defeated them. This is important because they were now including heavy cavalry with stirrups, too. Uh, Martel was very good at strategy and tactics, and it had a lasting impact, too. He stopped further influences of Islam by doing this. Um, uh, the main, it was a main part of his strategy. In fact, but, um, Edward Gibbon said, if not for Charles Martel, um, the Muslim army would have advanced, quote, to the confines of Poland and the highlands of Scotland, unquote. So, essentially, he kept them from a much further expansion. And, third, he became the founder of the Carolingian dynasty. The current system for kings had not been very effective, so, quote, Charles changed the system to one of fiefdom, unquote, according to Paul Bud. Bud. When the king died, Charles uh, hadn't cared enough to change it his title earlier, so, as long as he had power. Um, he declined the title because he didn't want to, the danger of that. In his final four years, um, uh, he focused on Christianity in the Outer Realms, but when the last Merovingian died, he did accept the title of king because he was, uh, only he was the most capable person for the title, and his sons became kings later, too. So, although some people claim that the Battle of Tours was essentially useless because Muslim sources often tend to ignore it, in reality, um, Charles Martel shaped medieval French history by defeating the Islamic invasion. And this led to, this ensured that uh, France would be, remain part of Christendom, that the Franks would become rulers of all of Gaul, and that, and because this led him to be eventually becoming the founder of the Carolingian dynasty. Thank you.